national generosity and whose demonstrated philanthropic commitment encourages others to take leadership roles in philanthropy. Max Fisher embodied philanthropy in his lifetime and continues to do so with the gifts and endowments he established for his legacy. Would David Sherman join me at the podium? David is helping to lead the next generation of the Fisher family's philanthropic impact on the community. This year's recipient of the Max M. Fisher Award is Leslie Devereaux. Foundation, she's been quietly making a significant impact on the community by funding the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, the Detroit Zoo, Detroit Educational Television, the Carmanos Cancer Foundation, the Nature Conservancy. The foundation has also supported Northwestern University, the National Wildlife Federation, and the Devereaux Memorial Library in Grayling, Michigan. Last year, when the community house in Birmingham needed renovation funds, Leslie was instrumental in securing important contributions. She also helped provide significant funding for the Michigan Humane Society, the Alzheimer's Association, Hospice of Michigan, and St. Joseph Mercy Hospital. Leslie Devereaux has always been aware of the needs of others. Through her dedication and caring efforts, she's made a difference in enhancing the quality of life for people in the greater community. Accepting the award on her behalf this evening is Curtis Mann, a trustee of Devereaux Foundation. It's an honor to represent my family, my grandfather, and the Fisher Foundation. Come on up here. I know how much respect Max had for the development professionals and the fundraising field. This evening is a tribute to all of you, and congratulations to everyone for your honors and awards. Thank you for inviting me here tonight to present this award. Uh, Curtis, Curtis and I had lunch uh, about a week ago, and I had the pleasure of learning more about Leslie and what she's done this year. You mentioned a lot of the same things I was going to speak about, but I'd like to just say a few words. Uh, when uh, Curtis and I were talking, he told me of the deep respect and admiration he had for Leslie and for the development professionals she's worked with and come to know over the years. He learned about her multiple, I learned about her multiple interests, and she had seemingly boundless generosity to these organizations that we spoke about here this evening. The De uh, through the Detroit, city of Detroit, the state of Michigan, and our country, Curtis told me about her love for animals and how she's been involved with the zoo board, her mother's passion for classical music and their support of the DSO. Her father had a battle with cancer, and she has supported the re uh, research at Carmanus Cancer Institute. Her longstanding connection with North Northwestern, where she graduated and now supports the library system. Ms. Devereaux has helped so many agencies, as you spoke about, that it's too much to take them and do justice here tonight. Perhaps the gift that prompted her nomination typifies her the most. She provided the resources needed to install these access ramps for the community house in Birmingham. While this may not be the largest of gifts she's made, and it may not be the most exciting, it is a quiet and essential gift that ensured everyone, regardless of their mobility, could enjoy all that the community house has to offer. It's truly a wonderful gift. My grandfather would have been glad to know her and would have been proud that she was receiving an award that bears his name. Curtis, on behalf of the Association of Fundraising Professionals, my family, and the foundation, I am pleased to present the Ms. Leslie Devereaux, the Max M. Fisher Award for Outstanding Philanthropy of the Year. somebody earlier today used the term mentor. There's a gentleman sitting at the table with Franny today, 
who I've known for 33 years, but who worked and was a great friend with Leslie's father, Richard Deverell, for whom the foundation is named. He's known the family for over 60 years and uh, uh, has been very instrumental in setting up the foundation. Uh, Leslie is very sorry that she couldn't attend tonight. I talked with her today and asked her what I could convey on her behalf, and she said two words. She said, Kurt, be brief. <laughs> and that really captures Leslie. She's a quiet person. She does not seek recognition. She quietly goes about supporting those organizations that are meaningful to her and uh, is happy to do so. Uh, she's very honored to receive this award. She thanks you all. I'd also like to say that given some of the issues that Leslie's had to deal with in her life, she's gotten to know several of you in this room quite well. Uh, several fundraisers, she's been to many lunches, many dinners, many football games, for those of you who know Leslie's passion for the Lions, Tiger games, concerts, symphonies. She's traveled to Northwestern for football games with some fundraisers. She was even taken to a Rose Bowl when Northwestern played not that many years ago. You have been very important to her and paid a, played an important role in her life, and she and I would both like to thank you for that. Thank you very much.